is this worth $20,000 more than what you could pay and will pay for the Ranger Raptor. Behind me is the brand new 2024 Ranger Raptor. It is a $59,000 MSRP without any dealer markup. We're also here in front of a 2024 F-150 Raptor. $80,000 window sticker, $60,000 window sticker. That's not a little bit amount of money, $20,000 is a lot. Let's take you around it, show you some of the highlights of it and you make the decision whether you pay $60,000 or would you go up $20,000 more if you can to the $80,000 F-150 Raptor. I think this looks fantastic from the front. Right here you have the daytime running lights wrapped around the performance LED headlights. And then you have your traditional Raptor front grille which is very aggressive. But to me, this looks like the 2023 F-150 Raptor grille. It does not have the textured front. Down in the lower part of the front end, you have the silver kind of trademark Raptor front. This is here is plastic, but it's plastic on the 2024 F-150 as well. But under here, you have a solid steel skid plate. And you got these really strong kind of robust tow hooks in the front. Very similar to the F-150 Raptor. Okay, we'll shift over here to the side profile. Again, if you look at it from afar, it looks like a baby Raptor. But I think where this car falls woefully short are the wheels and the tires. It has BF Goodrich KO3 33 inch wheels. BF Goodrich KO3s are a great tire, but I, man, it should have went to 35. It just looks like it skipped leg day. You know, the size of the wheels, the rims look like they're protruding from the tire. It just could be a bit beefier for me. This is a $1,495 option. The 17 inch beadlock rims. I'm sure the aftermarket industry will go crazy with this. And I'm sure you'll find aftermarket wheels and tire setups that can be 35s. I think you have to do a little bit of modification to fit 35s on it, but we're gonna check that out and test that out ourselves. But overall, the side profile looks like a mini Raptor. You got the vents coming off the front fender. You also have these hood scoops on the, on the front here. It's got um, the running boards with the Raptor logo. You know, you have your fender flares. Um, the rear does have a nice hip to it. It sticks out. You got the Raptor logo. So when you look at the rear tail lights, it's got the LED running through. I'm not sure about what this shape means or if there's any shape to it. It's got this big black panel on the side. It says blind spot radar. So obviously there's blind spot radar in there, but I think it looks a little bit awkward. And I, the rear tail lights, I don't, the rear backup lights, I wish they weren't as bright, like as white. I think they could have smoked that out a little bit or done something there. You come around the back, uh, you know, it's Raptor-esque. You have the dual exhaust with these massive tow hooks. I wish they would have copied something off of the F-150 Raptor where they go across the center. So now in the F-150, which again, this is a $60,000 truck. So I know we're comparing it to an $80,000 truck, but when you get to the rear tailgate, it just feels a little bit flimsy. Uh, obviously no electric down or up. This has a three liter, 405 horsepower, the same uh, powertrain that's in the uh, Bronco Raptor, which is a beefy engine for this size and weight truck. But you know, a workhorse staple for Ford. So I'm here inside the Ranger Raptor. Um, overall impressions is I feel like I'm in a Raptor for sure. It's got all these code orange accents, leather wrapped steering wheel. It's got some faux carbon fiber and trim pieces around. The interior overall looks good. It does feel a little bit, you know, a little bit plasticky, but you know, it's definitely smaller than the Raptor F-150, you know, obviously. It feels a little bit like I'm sitting in the Bronco Raptor from a seating position, size of steering wheel kind of space I have on the interior. I like how they went vertical versus horizontal. The steering wheel looks like the uh, F-150 steering wheel with all of the buttons. It has the R button, it has the exhaust button, the suspension and everything you can monitor and or change from the steering wheel. Um, over here, Braden, we're gonna show you some of the uh, different drive modes. It has basically all the modes that the other cars come with. It has normal, sport, tow haul, which tow haul is what, 5,500 pounds? Um, which is not bad. You could definitely get a, a you know, mid-sized small boat. It has slippery, going back the other way. It has off-road, Baja, and rock crawl. So it has all the drive modes that you would expect out of a Raptor vehicle. I would say that, you know, this knob here does feel, you know, it's definitely got a plastic feel, more so than I feel in the Bronco Raptor or the F-150 Raptor. But you know, similar type uh, changes to the drive modes on the fly like you have 
with other Raptor vehicles. One thing I did notice in the Ranger Raptor that I don't see in the Bronco Raptor, the F-150, is this off-road button here. If you press that, if you're in a pinch off-road, you can lock the front diff, you can lock the rear diff, and you have the trail assist button here in the center. So one touch gets you to all your diff locking modes. So it does come with six upfitter switches up here, which is kind of a staple in the Raptors for, you know, if you're outfitting any lights or light bars or whatever you want to put on here, that's a nice touch. I, I, I do really like the shifter. I like the how this thing kind of fits in your hand. I kind of wish the Bronco Raptor or the F-150 Raptor had something similar to this. I know in the F-150 Raptor, they have kind of that office space center console, but you know, this feels like, it feels more modern. It feels nice in your hand and it looks pretty cool. You have the deviated stitching in code orange wrapped around the seats with this cool Raptor logo here. You know, the back looks pretty tight. We'll show you that in a second, but overall, you know, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're in the back seat of the Ranger Raptor. I have the front seat positioned as if I was driving. I'm 5'11". There's good room back here. Again, it's a midsize. For what it is, I think it does a really nice job. Headroom is solid. Uh, code orange, deviated stitching. Some nice accents, a little bit of Alcantara in the center. Does have this, you know, cup holder here. It has a split rear window with a nice sliding glass uh, window there for to open up, get some air. So yeah, it's a nice back seat. So now let's check out the sound. We're gonna rev it to 3500 in normal and then in Baja. Okay, so we're out taking the Raptor for a ride and just my first initial impression is it feels a lot like the Bronco Raptor, you know, just the feel on the steering wheel, the sound of it, the responsiveness of the throttle. Um, it may feel a little bit stiffer. It doesn't have as wide of a stance. You know, when you're in a Raptor, you feel like, you know, I, I, I have a very wide, you know, stance and, you know, I can really kind of throw this thing around or throw the Raptor around. My initial feel right out of the gate is it feels like a mid-sized truck, you know. You know, I've, I've been actually comparing it a lot because of my initial uh, reaction to the Bronco Raptor, but what I would tell you is, from an interior sound standpoint, it's much quieter. Um, you know, the Raptor, any of the Broncos with the removable top, you get much more wind noise. This feels like, it feels like high quality in here. Right, Brayden? I mean, it's quiet. You don't get a lot of wind noise, but you do hear the exhaust. So we just took you through the brand new 2024 Ranger Raptor. It is an unbelievable truck. Is this a fair comparison between the Ranger Raptor and the F-150 Raptor? I'm not sure that's really a fair comparison. We should be comparing them against other mid-size pickups like the Colorado ZR2, the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I mean, that's really where this comparison should be. This is on Gen 3, I think it is a Gen 3 facelifted truck. I mean, it's much more beefier, it's much more proven. This though, does warrant the Raptor badge. It is a badass truck, it's really cool. I think there's some room for improvement, the tires, the wheels, the stance, in my opinion. But overall, we've all been waiting for this, and it's finally here. We have one here at Middleton Ford. We hope to get plenty more. It's a cool truck. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Check us out at MiddletonMotorsports.com. Stay tuned until next time. Peace out.